Dennis Kudler. Thanks for being, for being with us on USTA.com. You've got a big smile on your face, qualified yeah. for the Australian Open. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great so far, you know, to qualify for my first Grand Slam main draw. Uh, I'm excited to play Tommy Haas, who I'm playing, and um, I'm just thrilled that I was able to qualify. I'll get to the Tommy Haas match in a second. Tell us about the journey through qualifying, because everybody talks about how tough it is to qualify for a slam. Yeah, it is pretty tough. Uh, first day, it was really windy, I was playing a big server. I had a slow start, lost first set. Luckily, I had a good tie break in the second set and pulled out the third pretty easily. Second set, uh, second match was on a break and a rain delay came and then came out on fire after that, so that helped. And then in the last round, played Australian and then uh, just, you know, played really well. I was up a break in a second, got a little nervous thinking about qualifying and then finally got it together and pulled it through. Where would you rate your level of play at the moment? Uh, you know, it's hard but to say, but I'm playing pretty well. Uh, I believe that, you know, I can make a run in this tournament. You have to coming into one of these tournaments. You can't just be satisfied with qualifying. Uh, you know, I want more. Uh, really focusing on this next match. Hopefully, maybe get an opportunity to play Nadal. But, you know, he has to win his first round. <laughs> I have to win my first round, but I'm not looking at that right now at all. So, uh, just excited to play Haas. Tell me about playing Tommy Haas. <clears throat> uh, practicing once in the summer. We played a set indoors. Uh, you know, it's a pretty big game. Obviously, we know how well he's done early in his career, what he's capable of. and. You know, I'm just excited now. He's near the end of his career. Well, later in his the career. The twilight of his career. <laughs> yeah, I won't say end because I don't, you know, hopefully he keeps playing. But, uh, and then he's got a little bit of injuries recently and, you know, we'll see. It'll be an exciting match, hopefully. So what genuinely, genuinely, what sort of chance do you give yourself in the match? I mean, obviously we know, as you say, Haas was, was an outstanding yeah. player, ranked as high as two yeah. in the world, but it's not quite his day anymore. Yeah, I mean, I feel that if I play my best tennis, or, you know, very good tennis, that I can win that match, you know. Uh, the way I'm playing, I feel like I'm really close with all these top guys, um, playing just smart and disciplined and not letting the moment really get to my head will be the biggest thing for me. Tell us a little bit about Dennis Kudler. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to know? That's, you know, I just was excited to play tennis all the time. Um, really dedicated my life to playing tennis from a young age. Uh, finally accomplished this goal, at least of becoming pro and having a successful start. Hopefully I can have a successful career after that. Um, you know, I'm pretty average. <laughs> yeah. what, 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 do you, what, what sort of goals, what sort of targets have you set for yourself for this year? This year, um, I, gave my, I usually give myself like two different goals, you know, really the highest goal possible is I want to break top 50 by this year. Uh, I feel like if I can get, you know, a run going that I can continue this whole year and really have a good year. Uh, but at least I want to break top 100, that's another goal of mine, at least to do that. Um, that, would, that would make me pretty satisfied for this year. But obviously you want the top 50 goal, mm -hmm. and then uh, just have a really good year all year round. Certainly I think a lot of attention as far as young American players is concerned has been focused on Ryan Harrison and Jack Salk. And when you see some of the results that they've had, what sort of incentive, what sort of encouragement does that give you? Uh, well, seeing that what Ryan has done is unbelievable. Um, he really makes it seem realistic. Uh, I mean, everyone's like, oh, I want to be a top pro, but then when you get to a certain, a certain level, you kind of get scared at the moment. You're like, wow, I mean, can I really do this every single day for you know, the next 10 years? Can I really do this? And he really makes it seem realistic in that <clears throat> he's done it so well, so fast. Uh, and also looking at Tomic, you know, who I've known for a long time, and just being able to see what he's done and how incredible he's playing now. And then with Sock, you know, he's obviously had a great U.S. Open, uh, winning that first round, having a pretty good match with Roddick. Uh, he's always been a pretty good player. We've been pretty close, same level, same tournaments. we played about five, six times. <clears throat> and uh, I think me and Jack right now are around the position of trying to catch up to Ryan, so hopefully we can do it. You think this 
Australian Open, the fact that you've come through these qualifying rounds and played solid tennis to do that, this could be a really good platform for you to, to make a leap. Yeah, I mean, I think that this has given me a lot of belief in myself that I can win not just one or two matches in a row. I've gotten three in a row, try to make it four, especially in a Grand Slam. It's a big moment. Uh, only my second Grand Slam as a pro, and my first time in Australia, so I'm you know, really excited at this happening so fast. Well, I'd say it's, it's an incredible result, but it's a very good result. And, you know, but it's a confidence-boosting result. I mean, yeah. you, everything is one step at a time, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You can't expect to win a major overnight, but you know, it would be nice to. <laughs> so we'll see. Have you enjoyed your time in Australia? So far, I haven't been able to do much. Yeah. Uh, my f first maybe 13, 14 days of the year, Coming from New Zealand to here, it rained every single day, <laughs> so it was kind of not great. I wasn't really getting a great first impression, but uh, you know, hopefully, maybe after the tournament, be able to see some more sights. Um, I've been hoping to see a kangaroo. Never saw one. Well, so, I was going to ask you, have you seen a kangaroo? No, I want to see one. Maybe a koala or something like that, and uh, we'll see. Maybe after the tournament. Right now, I'm trying to stay focused, yep. enjoy the weather. I'm hoping for some record heat. Uh, I enjoy like the, the heat. heat. I yep. love it. So you know, we'll see. All right, finally. What will, be the, what will the nerves be like? I mean, you, I think you were the first player to actually get into the main draw from qualifying, and you're playing first day as well. Yeah, uh, you know, it helps to get a day off at least one, so, you know, I'm fine. It would be nice to have two, but, you know, I'm still pretty anxious to play tennis right now, especially this high level, and, um, yeah, so that's, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> Dennis, thanks very much for your time. Thanks.